Hello and welcome to my review of the Legio Custodes Aquilin Terminators with Infernus Fire Pikes. If you're wondering, hey Super, where did you uh, get these models from, like the uh, other Aquilin Terminators? Well, when I went to the Forge World Open Day on Sunday the 13th of August, uh, that's where I picked them up. Um, they were first access and I'll just show you them there. There they are, and I could also pick up the Aquilin Terminators, the Dropship, and the Omega Tank there. So these three models will cost you £49. Um, it's a fair bit of mo money for three models, but I will do some size comparisons um, in a little bit, and that might help you uh, understand how big these are. I mean, these guys are thick. Obviously, they're the same size as the Aquilin Terminators uh, that I re recently re reviewed. Here's one here. So exactly the same size, uh, pretty much the same model uh, with the same legs, same uh, chest pieces, uh, shoulder pauldrons, everything is exactly the same except for the, the right weapon and then the left weapon. If you just get the Aquilin Terminators, they come with twin link to Drathic Destructors or the Lastrum Storm Bolters. If you get the ones with fire pikes, they come with these Solarite power talons instead of the gauntlets, and also they come with the, the fire pikes. I'll talk about the rules later on, uh, but squad wise, you can mix and match. So you can have two uh, fire pike, and you can have one a drathic, uh, or you can have um, a couple of lastrum ones. It's really up to you. The squad size is three, uh, one of the reasons why they sell them as three. So let me just talk about the models themselves. Well, firstly, uh, they come with this lovely um, little instruction booklet uh, with an exploded uh, diagram of all the parts. They're very, very straightforward, simple to make, and um, I hope they do something uh, similar with the Hiteron Guard. Uh, or even an upgrade sprue for the for the Hiteron guard. They're in normal custodian armor, but still. So this model is sort of striding forwards um, with this torrent fire pike. I'll talk about the rules later. Just washing over the battlefield, cleansing the foes of the emperor as he's casually walking across there. Solarite power talons look fantastic. Very well detailed. I mean, I'll just show you some of the detail. Uh, they're highly detailed models. I mean much more detail than you get with the um, you know just normal uh, Terminators like if you bought some uh, Tartarus pattern or Cataphracty pattern Terminators from Forge World in resin uh, these guys have so much more detail and they're huge as well uh, they do look like mini custodian uh, dreadnoughts well the Contemptor ones with their sort of greaves or uh, leg armor very reminiscent of that and I do like this uh, sort of top plate with the eagle um, I mean, there's eagles all over this. So, I mean, the fact that they're gold, you know, would sort of set them apart. And then this guy, uh, they don't have a sergeant. They're just, just a squad of three. They're pretty much uh, like li lions as opposed to sort of the wolves of the uh, uh, Space Marines. This guy, he's just saying hi. <laughs> now he's probably about to uh, face rake some someone. Yeah, incredible... Uh, detail goddamn pigeon anyway and then this guy is a similar sort of pose as that guy but this guy looks looks a bit more meaningful like he's about to raise it or he just has raised his uh, fire pike um, yeah, and then they've got these little, uh, I think they're power blades. I can't think of what, what else they'd be, but they're called Misericordias. Yeah, incredible. Huge models. They really are big. Um, and speaking of which, let's do some size comparisons. So here is a uh, Mini Marine. <laughs> I mean, Custodian Guard are naturally bigger than Space Marines anyway. I mean, you know, Space Marines are made in the sort of like the Primarchs image and the custodians are made in sort of the emperor's image uh so each one is sort of sort of genetically sort of engineered modified and stuff and um, whereas space marines more more sort of batch batch produced but uh as you can see um sort of almost like comparing a space marine to a to an imperial guard now we're getting uh but obviously you must remember that custodian guard came out sort of last year towards the end of last year so that was way before the primaris stuff speaking of which i uh, just so happen to have a primaris space marine there and as you can see 
they are bigger definitely uh, thicker than these new uh, Primaris Marines so there you go that's the uh, Primaris and the uh, sort of mini Marine next to them let's have a look at him next to Custodian Guard so as you can see bigger a lot more thicker um, Custodian armor, they have the refract field, so they have 2 plus and I think it's a 5 plus. And these guys will have a 2 plus and a 4 plus in vulnerable. Uh, so there you go. Next to a uh, Tenemon Dreadnought. Yeah, I mean. I mean, they go quite well with the Tenemon Dreadnought. They definitely uh, share a lot of um, design cues and things um, with him. Yeah, they do go very well. So that's that. I've done so many size comparisons. I I really do feel blessed to be part of the hobby at um, this time because we've had so many releases recently. Uh, this is the Primaris Aggressor, and they're even thicker than uh, this guy. Let's do a little uh, Terminator comparison. So I've got some Terminators. Uh, here's your Tartarus. Absolutely dwarfs the Tartarus. I mean, look how small a Tartarus looks compared. His top is barely up to the, the gorget of the um, custodian guard. I mean, look at that. Hopefully that gives you a good size comparison, just how massive these guys are. Likewise with the cataphracty. Sort of heads and shoulders. Way, way bigger, way, way thicker. I mean, they are like their own sort of special character, really, or a character series model. They're massive. What are they like? Sixteen pound each or so. That's what I make it out to be. Uh, and then I've just got this this terminator. I mean, yeah. Bear, bear in mind, he does have a massive cyclone missile launcher, but the uh, custodian is still thicker. So there you go. Hope those uh, help. I've <laughs> got so many size comparisons recently, but uh, yeah, hope, hope that helps. Um, just for giggles, I'll put a dreadnought there. And also, I didn't manage to uh, put my uh, centurion in the last uh, vid. So there's a Centurion. Um, oh, it's hard to say. I mean, the Centurion is, is a thick boy. He really is. He is a thick, thick boy. I think the uh, Centurion's just a little bit thicker. Same base, though, as you can see. Just a little bit thicker. Look at that. Just a little bit thicker. But considering this is a Space Marine inside a Space Marine, <laughs> I think that's pretty pretty good going, how big the uh, Custodian is. Oh, will we see a Custodian inside a Custodian? I wonder. <laughs> so yeah, the uh, Centurion is a little bit taller, sort of head-wise, only a little bit. Um, but height-wise, the uh, Custodian does win it out. So I hope that um, helps you. Uh, very similar on size to a uh, Centurion. But yeah, I, I didn't include um, Centurion in the last video, so I thought I'd uh, include him in this one. And obviously there's the Dreadnought. Looking smaller and smaller by the day, uh, especially next to like a Primaris. It could easily just mount on top of that. And Okay, so this is my part of the video where I talk about the rules for the squad. Um, and luckily, the rules are already out. They're in um, Horus Heresy uh, Book 7, Inferno, which is pretty much the go-to book for um, Horus Heresy uh, Custodian Guard rules and things um, until they release a sort of like a Custodian Guard only book, which will have the Orion uh, dropship in and it will have the um, Telemon Dreadnought. I mean, Telemon Dreadnought rules are on Forge World's website, but, uh, but still, it's important to note that the only thing they haven't released now for the Custodian Guard is uh, a Heterion squad, um, a Tribune or a Custodian Shield uh, Captain, which you can use Ixian Hail for, but what I mean is is what is a Shield Captain that's readily available. So the Heterion Guard, the uh, Shield Captain, and uh, Constantine Valdor, which um, we saw pictures of the model in, at Warhammer Fest three months ago. So I'm hoping he's going to come out after they release uh, these Terminators and uh, the uh, dropship to wait and see. So the Legio Custodes uh, Aquilin Terminator Squad, it's an elite choice. And I went through the rules uh, in the last video for the Aquilin Terminators, uh, exactly the same rules. 
other than the weapons that they're equipped with. A squad of three will cost you 225 points, quite expensive, but their weapon skill is five, ballistic skill five, strength and toughness are both five. They've got two wounds, initiative five, three attacks, leadership nine, and a save of two plus. Obviously, they've got the uh, Aquilin Terminator armor, which provides them a two plus armor save, a four plus invulnerable, and hammer of wrath. You can also fire heavy salvo weapons, counting at stationary, even if they moved in the movement phase. And they can also charge after firing rapid fire, heavy or salvo weapons. They cannot make run moves, but they can still fire overwatch and sweep in advances. Their standard gear is the Lastrum Stormbolter and a Solarite Power Gauntlet. They can replace the Power Gauntlet with a Solarite Power Talon. Now, Power Gauntlet, uh, which is what uh, this sort of standard Aquilum one has, um, that's a strength times two AP1 ma melee mastercrafted on wieldy. However, these Power Talons uh, are much better. Um, for taking out your, your standard space marines um, and other things that have saves of three plus. Their uh, strength is plus one, um, so that's already a strength six, which is pretty decent anyway. AP is three, they've got shred, specialist weapon, and master crafted. So master crafted as well, I mean they're both master crafted, but that just helps even, even more with the wounding. I mean hitting you've got a good chance, and wounding, uh, you know, even on standard space marines, what two plus, so even if they fail, they can re-roll so and on three attacks and four on the charge remember this is seventh edition still that's 12 attacks right there just just for three of them probably it's going to be twos to twos to hit and it's probably going to be twos to wound uh, re-rolling and they're probably going first because they're initiative five so they are gonna wreck you know like a standard um squad if they if they actually manage to charge and get past that um overwatch if they don't, it's okay, because if they are charged themselves, these guys are armed with the Furnace Fire Pikes. Um, you have to pay more for those. It's uh, 15 points each. So right there, that's another 45 points. So already you're talking of 270 points, um, just for what you see, uh, which is a, a fair amount. But the uh, Infernus Fire Pike, not to be confused with the Infernus Incinerator, um, is a strength six. Uh, it's a template weapon, um, strength 6, AP 6, heavy 1, torrent. So unfortunately it's it's AP uh, 6, but it does have the torrent rule. And it's going to be quite easy to wound. And with the overwatch as well. Um, not many things are going to want to charge these um, with the overwatch with those flamers. And then even if they do, they've still got 6 attacks um, at a high initiative, at a high weapon skill, and a high strength. So... These guys are a very aggressive uh, unit, both in, in attack and defense, especially if you're gonna equip them with teleportation transponders at five points each, or stop them in a Coronas or a, the Orion uh, dropship, which I'm pretty sure will have a transport capacity of 12, um, like the uh, Coronas does. And that's all I really wanted to say about the uh, Legio Custodes uh, Quillen Terminators armed with uh, fire pikes. I think they're a great looking unit, uh, I really do like these fire pike uh, weapons. Um, I think they're they're excellent. These sort of long barreled uh, flamers with the eagle on there. Um, and I, I really do like the uh, talons. It would be nice just to equip a squad just with the uh, solarite power talons. Um, I think that would be great. But custodians, they, they want to have a ranged weapon and a, a melee weapon um, similar to the, you know, the standard ones. But I love the fact that you can mix and match them. You can have some with Lastrum Stormbolters, some with these, and some with the Fire Pikes. You know, you, you could have that as a squad. Absolutely fine. Likewise, you could, yeah, you could have that as a squad. Really up to you, depending on the circumstances. But yeah, there are high high points cost, uh, high sort of money cost as well unit. But I think they're incredible. I'm looking forward to uh, to any more Legio Custodes uh, releases that Forge World have up their sleeves. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching The Emperor Protects.